All right, kids, and this is for you. And this is the stuff that we learned on page, what was it, 120, exercise 127, I believe. Yes, uh, on page 32 of your book, left-hand page. Don't make faces or stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. And um, so what we need to do is, so we, since you don't have Spy Guy, you say, on your recording, I'll play it, okay? But first I want to note that we learned on the mandolin uh, where a high second finger and goes this one right here and where the high second finger and the low second finger, okay? A high second finger puts these two fingers close to each other when it go, they go down on the fingerboard. A low second finger puts the first two fingers close together, okay? So we're going to play what's on this page 32 at the top. On the D string or the third string, we're going to play open. Then we're going to put our first finger down. Then our second finger, it's a low, which is an F or F natural. Then our third finger. Then our fourth finger. Then back down. What we're going to do, we're going to, let's read F natural. I'm going to do that exercise 126. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, try again. that the E and the F are just really close together, the first and second fingers, that's because E and F, there's no E sharp, it just goes right to F, and that's why. So then we're going to go, the, um, let's just play Spy Guy, because I know you're going to like that kind of, so we're going to go, well, not right now, because we don't have a key, we're going to go, I'm going to play it once, and then we'll try to play together. One, two, here I go. Now this last two is a low G, a low four string. They're way underneath two lines there. And then, the, then we're going back to the second stanza there. Now the reason we play that high F there, and when you see one sharp at the left hand side of the music, when you see that one little sharp sign, it'll mean it always mean it's an F sharp. So if there's one sharp, what sh what note is sharp? Case. Okay. If there's one sharp at the left hand side as a key signature, what note is always sharp when there's one sharp? F sharp. Good. F is sharp, and it's always F sharp. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play, we're going to play on the fourth string, and I'm going to play a high second finger first, which is where the tape on the fiddle originally was. Here it is. One, two, here we go. time a high second finger or F sharp very good now I'm going to play a low second finger so instead of here it's going to go up tight against that first finger and it's going to sound like this one two here we go, low second finger. Okay, now 
we're going to move to the second string. We're going to play a high second finger, just like we did on the D string. We're going to play that first to where the tape used to be when we had tape on. High second finger. Ready? One, two. Here we go on second string. on page 33 if you need any help with that. Now we're going to go low, but that was a high second finger. Now, I'm sorry, now we're going to go on page 33 with a low second finger. Here's how it sounds. One, two, ready, play. Low second finger. That's low second finger. I want you to do high second finger and low second finger on all the strings, okay? So I'm going to do them now on E, the first string, high second finger. One, two, ready, play. High second finger. second finger on the E string or first string. One, two, ready, play. Very good. Now I'm going to the fourth string or the low string, low E, G string. And we're going to play high second finger on the G string. Ready? One, two, ready, play. High, high second finger. High second. All right, now I want to do low second finger. Ready? One, two, ready, play. second finger. Low second finger. All right, and for this lesson, Kaysen, if you don't get them perfectly in tune, it takes time, so don't get frustrated. I want you basically to know the difference between high second finger, where, which is where the tape originally was on your fiddle, and low second finger and which you can remember on the mandolin is just one fret lower than the high second finger or one half step lower one half step equals one fret all right i'm going to sign off practice hard